And it's funny because when we argue, mm -hmm. I have to learn how to let go of the fight and just let you walk away and be okay and, and just allow myself to process through the anger. So it just, the way that we get through our marriage is just to healing a lot of ourselves yeah. because that's where we, we have that conflict. Right, and I think a lot of times too with, with the conflict that we have is just, you have your perspective on things and I have mm -hmm. my perspective on things and there are some times where we're just like, we're not going to agree on this. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of 317 Wellness Podcast. I'm Jody, And my name is Tim. And today we're going to be talking about a pretty juicy subject, marriage. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about the good, the bad, the ugly, things that we've learned along the way, things that we're still working yep. on. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Yeah. So let's take it back from the beginning yeah. where we first met. Yeah. I know uh, you had a daughter. Yes. In the very first beginning of the, our mm -hmm. relationship. I knew had a four-year-old. Yep. yep. So, I guess, <laughs> yeah. what were your thoughts on on that? Yeah. Were, were you nervous? Well, yeah. I mean, I was really, I had been focused on just raising her. Like, I really hadn't dated very much. It really wasn't something that, you know, I really thought about doing. I mean, I, I don't know. It was just more about raising her and her and I. And then I met you. <laughs> and I liked you. And yeah. you're cute. Yeah, and yeah. your values. <laughs> and everything just, you know, meshed with, um, with mine. And so, I mean, it was a little nerve wracking, you know, bringing someone into the mix because we had our routine and yeah. and um, and all of that. And she, you know, she didn't have a dad so in her life. So bringing a man into the picture was just a, a whole new thing. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think it was one of the big things was that you, we where you first saw her is, was at church. Yeah. So like knowing that you had the same faith and the same like moral values mm -hmm. that I, it made me way more comfortable yeah. to bring, you know, you around her. So, yeah. but I think that's where we see now later in our mm -hmm. relationship, how it's impacted us Yeah. because we never really got to be one on one. Right. And now it's harder now because yeah. we have buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so we jumped yeah, right. Yeah, so we just went yep. straight into having another one too. Yep. How yeah. long was that? What was just like? We were married for three months before, yeah, we, <laughs> we decided to expand our, our, our family again. Yeah. I mean, I'm older, so we didn't want to be like too much older before we had another child. So, um, so yeah, so then we, we got married. We mm -hmm. had three months married and then I was pregnant with Eli. And so, you and know, we've just always had yeah, little always kids had around kids. in our relationship. And I think that, I think that has been the biggest challenge for mm -hmm. us. Um, especially mm -hmm. these last couple years, two years, two years, two years. <laughs> yeah. Going through the newborn and infant and now yeah. toddler, terrible yeah. twos. Yeah. Yeah. So we are realizing right now that, mm -hmm. that we want to spend more time together mm -hmm. because we're so separate right now yeah. with the kids and now yeah. and now it's just even more energy being expended right to the point where we don't really have much time mm -hmm. for each other at the end of the night like we're exhausted by the time uh, nighttime comes and we sometimes don't really want to do anything right right we forget about because we just talked about like at the we're raising the kids we're working we're both working jobs we're taking care of the house we've got the you know the business stuff our goals and our dreams that we want to work on so we've got all this energy expenditure so at the end of the night a lot of times you know we want to just scroll or we want to just yeah. watch something but marriage takes a lot of effort and i think people really need to understand like how much you, you need to step outside of yourself oh, yeah. and what how much energy that takes mm -hmm. to to be intentional and to be thoughtful for your spouse and we do not get that right a lot because we're still we're independent we, right we're very independent so we want to do our own thing yeah we yeah. want to do our own thing like we don't need each other to really fulfill each other right. but because we've made a commitment mm -hmm. and we're married we mm -hmm. have to fulfill right. each other again yeah it's just well, these first five mm -hmm. years it's growing and learning and figuring each other out and how to do this so the i'm a, i'm on a whole journey about really self-healing mm -hmm. and a lot of the things that we a lot of things that we go through like a lot of arguments a lot of the things that that trigger us is from things that we were we were like as a child mm -hmm. or things that we experienced as a kid mm -hmm. and for me the anger and, and the loss of control was me seeing things yeah. in Guatemala that I should have seen and I think that's why 
I've had to learn how to process through my trauma as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, and so that way I can heal our relationship now, right? So right. I think that I think healing yourself and understanding what triggers you, why does it trigger you, why are you getting upset about this, or do you remember things that have happened in the past that are affecting your relationships now, right? Um, it's hard to continue being in the marriage with each other when we're both still angry angry, angry and yeah. stubborn we're angry we're stubborn we're individual yeah. so like we just want to kind of go our separate ways so and prayer does bring us back together prayer does bring us back together and then really heals us because it allows mm -hmm. god to remind us that you guys were together mm -hmm. we're a team we made a commitment yeah. we have to work through all this mess we can't avoid it we have to bring bring each other together yeah, yeah. and god does that god brings us together yeah all right it's difficult for me to do the mom role mm -hmm. or the traditional role because it's just I've not experienced how that looks kind mm -hmm. of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that spending that quality time with my kids is kind of challenging for me. Mm -hmm. So I have to really remove myself from what I'm doing and be intentional of going and hanging out with my kids, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And yeah. I think that that's one of the big challenges for me is like you do a lot of the mom or you do a lot of the kid stuff mm -hmm. but I know that, that that's not just should be not on you it should mm -hmm. be I should be stepping in and being like hey how can I partner up with you right, right, right. <laughs> instead of yes how can I help you because yes, it's not you. yeah right <laughs> the yeah, help explain word. that a little bit explain yeah it. so the help word for me is a uh, trigger because I guess we'll just use the word trigger for everything um but it, it is because as a helper, it makes it feel like it's still all my responsibility. Yeah. So when you say, I, I'm here to help you, I kind of want to punch you a little bit because I'm like, that just makes me the responsible one for everything. Whereas when you say, how can I partner up with you? It's, it's being, I guess you understanding or knowing what needs to be done and then just intentionally doing that mm -hmm. is really, I think what a lot of us moms would, you know, would like to see in our partner is that you are aware of the needs in the moment and you just take the take something and, and run with it instead yeah. of me having to stop and go okay well this lunch needs packed the, the diaper needs changed this needs done this you know like and i think that's something i struggle with because mm -hmm. like since you handle all that responsibility i come in and, and i have no idea where you're at right. so that's why i ask you hey where can i help you with mm -hmm. but i think from what you're saying is that I need to go in there, if become just, aware yeah. of, become aware of what's going on, mm -hmm. and just take action on what needs to get yep. done. And, 